cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets yet. And welcome back to the channel folks Today has been a momentous day in the launch of version 1.29 of Gran Turismo 7 Ultimately a massive day because it's the start of the segregation of the PS4 away from the mainstream but that's nothing new Assetto Corsa has put PS4 to the back burner and has even put uh, other issues behind them to allow development on the greater platform so for Gran Turismo to do it is no unusual thing and it's probably the way forward ultimately leaving the old platform behind which to be honest has only been around because of the problems with production on the PS5 due to the epidemic and the pandemic etc so as we look at that we've had Sophie released today we're not going to do a review of Sophie because we don't have it as a PS4 user but when the PS5 is on its way we'll get that done and sorted it's only a demo of Sophie but as you can see here the AI from the normal game uh, leaves a lot to be desired and we can only get better with Sophie some of the reviews I've read online aren't brilliant because they're saying it's actually just a dumbed down version where the faster you go the harder the the more difficult tires they put on they just reduce the grip of the car to make it more of a challenge and I get that they're trying to prove the all aspects of the the AI to see whether they can compete just as well as you can on the weaker tires but alongside that we've had PSVR 2 again I can't I can't review that all I can do is use this sort of viewpoint to sort of suggest that it's going to be better than this from a 3d perspective this is inside uh, the cockpit of the Japanese old legendary Formula One car from the early days I actually enjoyed driving this around the circuit today we're actually going to see this car in its full glory for probably about the next nine minutes to be honest we're doing in car for the moment and then we're going to progress to an external view and we're going to talk about the greater release for today which is Grand Valley is it the Grand Valley I remember I don't think it is this is definitely Grand Valley Highway and I remember Grand Valley East this is reminiscent of some of the circuit Oof, and there we go that's how easy it was and I remember doing that back in the day but it's definitely a different circuit it's more undulated doesn't seem to be as long as it previously was I remember running a long way out to this hairpin or this corner down here and uh, this reminds me so much of the the circuit in in California Pikes Peak let it come to my brain but with that being the case this isn't Pikes Peak but it just sets the ground I think for what is potentially to come as we know PD own the rights or actually have some form of intellectual right to the Pikes Peak track because they have the Pikes Peak's cars etc etc but uh, we can't speculate we don't know it was interesting to see some of the releases by fellow YouTubers when they were sort of hoping wishing for certain tracks like Monaco for example I mean again if you were seeing images of this it's absolutely phenomenal that this could be a Monaco scenario, couldn't it? The type of track, the type of scenery. We'll get to look at that when we go to the external view. As we're coming round to the end of lap two, we're going to uh, just do a full in car and I'll talk you through the lap. We're going to get through these stragglers here. I've had a very full day of the game, to be honest. From, from as soon as the update took over this morning, I've been straight on to the game and I've been doing the circuit experiences of this track which to be honest quite challenging quite challenging because it was difficult to find the required grip level they seem to have duplicated the grip levels of a dry dusty track quite well and I'm up for that it's, it's really quite good so if you've had the chance I've posted the circuit experience with gold passes and 1.2 million credits won took me around about an hour so here we go then in front of us is a fellow historic F1 car and we're just going to go about chasing him down to win the race this is quite an interesting corner this one as you can see the AI brakes when really you don't have to it's just a lift and coast 
braking for this corner down here. We have to get a bit of a slide on. But now we're behind our potential victor, our suitor, the one that we want to beat. Mano a mano, like for like. We take him up the inside. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And around we go. I really, actually, I'm a, I'm a bumper cam viewer. A bumper cam racer, I like to race from the bumper cam. But to race this in this viewpoint today was absolutely phenomenal. I, I felt the speed. I felt like I was inside the car. I was almost getting the inertia and the g-force from it. And uh, I know it wasn't the case and it's never going to be like PSVR 2. But ultimately, great feel, great sense of speed. And I think they've replicated it quite well. I like the way the, the rev counter is actually on its side, which replicates where it would have been in history, purely because of where the connectors are on the dial or how the gauge fits in. They're not always vertical before somebody points out that it's wonky. Well, that's the way they just were. I think it's a great attention to detail. I found quite distracting, actually, as we go into the tunnel here. You'll see on the little perspex screen what looks like rain and dirt, but it's not. It's just a refraction of light through the uh, through the screen. So that's the introduction to the track, and that's the introduction to the car and the format. As we just go around and do one more. There we go. We're going to do one more tour around the circuit, but from an external point of view, and we'll watch the race. Stunning rendition that model. Really like it. I love the detail. And there was the competitors from the race. So here we go, external view, and let's look at the track and see what it's all about. So the original Grand Valley that I remember was a sort of, I'd say an Asian, sort of Japanese type scenario, a setting. This is very much California coast at the, at the you know, the, the Pacific Highway kind of view. And I think that's where the name's given it. It's a very basic overlay of the circuit from what was... 10 years ago, 12 years ago when I last played it but with the case it's not an exact rendition it's sort of a a gesture towards it and probably that's why it inherits the name of Grand Valley but it's definitely Grand Valley Highway 1 as you can see there on the banner this is not Grand Valley East or what was Grand Valley South from back in the day There's some iconic bridges in here that actually exist. And as you can see, this is a mixed format race, which was quite difficult to get through with the, with the historic race car, alongside the modern things like the Toyota Supra there, Toyota Supra, and what looks like the Audi R8 in the background. There's some drift cars which seem to get well ahead. It even looks like there's an Expo in there. But here's one of those bridges. Those concrete balustrades look absolutely the part. It's a great setting and you can see the track in the hills behind. Some EGT cars there. VGT, sorry. As we come through the tunnel out into the light, it's absolutely stunning. It takes my eyes a little while to adjust and to focus on that corner. I guess it would be different at different times of the day with the different lighting effects that they've managed to introduce to the game. They're not new, they've been there for some time, but they're definitely amplified here as we come into the tunnel. As you saw on the previous three circuits of the track, it was it was quite difficult to adjust your eyesight. Pit lane off to the right. Now I remember this pit straight being more of that, a pit straight with a huge gallery, with a huge concrete grandstands and the pit lane, but this is just a small, what looks like a seaside village. Just excuse me while I disappear off the track and then leap to get back in and unceremoniously get clattered by a car which is entirely my fault but hey that's the way we go so following the uh, the image of the drift car which seems to go quite well around this circuit but we get in the top end breaking into this hairpin yeah I can see why it's reminiscent of Pike Peaks and why Pike Peak will actually work in this game if it was ever to be introduced. You can see it there. Lots of slide on those tyres trying to take the wide line. And that behind us, as you saw it there, was the connection between what is Grand Valley South and this Grand Valley Highway circuit. 
There are four layouts available in the game. Grand Valley South, Grand Valley South reversed, Highway 1 and Highway 1 reverse, and we'll look at those at the end of this video. I'll put a snapshot up there for us to see. So in the overview, in the long run, folks, this is not the original Grand Valley, and I see some disappointment on the forums from people thinking they were ex what they were expecting and what they got. Well, I'm just going to put the whole Grand Valley thing out of context, out of mind. It's Grand Valley, but it's a different Grand Valley. Grand Valley, it's Highway 1, and that's how it's going to stick with me, because I do not remember this layout. It doesn't feel like this layout, or the one that I remember. The setting doesn't suit it, as in the old circuit. It doesn't suit my memory of it. So I'm just going to adapt to this and play this as I see it. I think it's a phenomenal track for what it is. It's completely different and it's a different thing and I'm just going to drive it as I find it now. It's it's going to get a lot of a lot of traction this 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 circuit. It's going to get an early showing in what's going to be the manufacturers and the um, the other tournament that's going to take place soon. They were there as blank blank spaces on the first races. So it's going to get a show and it's going to get a trying out and it's going to be popular I think. There's going to be lots of drifters very interested in circuit because of the ability to link corners together. We know drifting is very popular in this game and there's a massive scene for drifting in the bright, wider world. So it will, it will gain hold and people will enjoy it. But as a thing, I like the scenery, I like the way they've recreated it, I like the sea, I like the dust, I love the way it kicks up off the wheels, all close to close wheel to wheel racing there. So it doesn't sort of replicate exactly what happens when rubber on rubber contact though, does it? You expect one of those cars to go flying straight off the track at some point as we as we continue to look at this race kind of forget where we are but this has got to be lap three so I know we're coming to the end and with that being the case we come round for one last view one last look at the circuit we can see that bridge which is if it exists in real life that's a phenomenal piece of architecture these type of wall tunnels are stunning just imagine the sound in there as it comes through as we come out of the tunnel section, you can see where we clipped the orange bollards. Then we're going to charge as we go, come up the hill. And then we go over this last bridge. Now I believe that is actually a real bridge on the uh, Pacific Coast Highway. Might not be exactly 100% to it, but there it is. So as we come up to the line, we're actually in first place. And ultimately, I think it's going to do really really well I think it's a phenomenal circuit and I actually think it's a great release I think it's actually going to be a thing so as stated these are the four circuits that are available at Grand Valley Highway 1 we have Highway 1 at 3.17 miles we have Highway 1 reverse at 3.17 miles we just run the opposite way round we have South available at 1.91 miles and South Reverse with the same distance. There are some race variants available with the release of Grand Valley. One of them is the GR1 prototypes. And this is just a quick click of the, the circuit with the cars running around it. And it's where I'm going to leave you folks with these distinctive views. Just a short brief overview of update 1.29 and what it means to me and how the game can be affected by it. Look at that stunning scenery. As I say, I'm I'm really impressed with it. A bit disappointed that as a PS4 user, the platform's leaving me behind. But I'll just have to keep up. I'll have to catch up. I'll have to go out and buy a PlayStation, a PlayStation 5, and we'll just have to see where we go from there. But with that, folks, I'd just like to say thank you very much for stopping by and listening, watching, liking, and subscribing. It's very much uh, very important to me that I actually deliver back to you what you what you invest in me. So thank you very much, folks, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.